show you guys how to put um, crankshaft bearings in a case, especially on these KTMs, um, without having to use a press like what I have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up this case half to 260 degrees. That is pretty much the magic number at which you can press these bearings in. Now the second part of this is you want to make sure that you have your bearing, this is my old one, um, you want to have your bearing in a freezer getting cold. And we're just going to use just thermal dynamics, hot and cold, and the new bearing will, will pop right in, if nothing else, require just a slight tap. So, I got a little infrared gun, you need one of these, and I'm just going around very slowly here, heating this up. All right, so we're at we're right around 260, and here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. And we're gonna set that down flat, and I'm gonna come grab my berry. And we're gonna take just a pinch hair or some. WD-40 to see if we can get the slide in. And if you get a good video picture of this, boom! Like a glove. And that's how you do that. Don't need a press. They're nice to have, but you don't. And then you can take and you can take your old bearing if you wanted to, and you could, if you wanted to give it a tap to make sure that it's seated, but that sucker is seated. And that's how you do that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you how we put this little bearing race on the crankshaft on these KTM. This is only unique to KTM and Husky. I don't think any of the Japanese companies do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this sucker nice and hot. Now you need two pieces. You need like a tool like this that you can use to install it onto the crank. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing pretty darn warm. We're getting it there. And we're just gonna eat this sucker up nice and easily. And the other part is we got the crank in the freezer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the socket, and we're gonna use that to push it on the crank. Um, again, 260 is like the magic number. Let's see where we're at. We're close. And then if you can't get it on the rest of the way, you can always. Now you're gonna see it start to turn a little dark. That's just the oil that's burning off from when it was packaged. Gordon? Yep. All right, so now we're gonna come over here. Get our crankshaft out. Drop that in there like that. And then, bada bing, bada boom. And that's how you do that. Easy breezy.